Okay, good morning everybody. The second day of this uh, workshop. Um, a reality check. But like yesterday we done a reality check of sparring. Doing see what you can do, what you can't do. A reality check is in a good way, not in a bad way. It shows you what you can do and what you can't do. If you haven't tested nothing, how do you know you can do it? Or you can't do it? That's why you call it reality check. <laughs> but some people might think it's in a bad way. In fact, it's in a good way. Don't care what you do or what you learn. You have to be tested to see can you, does it work or not. And that's why yesterday I take you guys to see what you can do or what you can't do. And then you look at your own self and say, cool, this is very hard to do, sparring with techniques. Because now I've been pressurised. And you find it quite difficult because you've been pressurised. As a drill, it's easy because it's a drill. As a demonstration, it's easy because it's a demonstration. But real fighting is a different concept completely. This is the reality of it. So if someone does attack you anywhere in your life, the bottom line is, can you do it or, can you do it or not? Okay? So um, have a seat for me, have a seat. And also, uh, sometimes uh, every style has got um, close range and long range. They say Wing Chun is only for close range. In fact, every martial art is close range, middle range and long range. Yeah, so don't think this Wing Chun people is close. Every other style can be close, middle range or long range. When you fight someone, in some example, and you stand, yeah, we're here, and before, this is the long range. But long range has started by he standing so far away from me. But when he approached me, I can sense him coming forward. This is my sensitivity approaching. Yes? But now, if he approached me, there's a distance between me where we fight. So now, if you're, you hit me here, you're going to hit me here, you cannot hit me, and you cannot hit me because you're not in distance. So you have different distance of kicking, different distance of punching, different distance of the elbow, many different distance, different distance of close, really close. So many stars have all this. But how you practice it, it's a different story again. Okay? So, so like I said yesterday, um, understanding the path, understanding where to go, sensitivity is really, really important. But people think sensitivity, there's two sensitivity. There's one by touch and one by approach. Meaning that if someone can approach you and throw a hand towards you, you can feel it coming, you can see it coming. Sensitivity, feeling and sensitivity is the same. You can feel it coming. That means you can sense it coming. Now the question you've got to ask yourself, when it comes, can you stop it? <laughs> That's the question. Do you know how to stop it? This is when techniques come, techniques come to it now. We have no techniques, you can't stop it at all. But you know it's coming towards you. But you just can't stop it. So you need techniques. Sensitivity by touch means in, when you start doing luxo a lot, or chi so, you're in contact with somebody, the touch. Can you sense what they're going to do close range when they touch you? Yeah? That's, you, know, you need the techniques again. It all comes down to bottom techniques again. <laughs> yeah? So you have, no, you, you have everything here, but you have no sensitivity, no techniques. And these things won't work too well. Yeah? But you need all these things, but these are the two main ones, sensitivity and techniques. <laughs> yeah? Then you have defend. Today, we're going to defend. So you can see, can you defend yourself? This in defending in gorso and defending in sticky. Not attacking, defending. Maybe you don't want to hurt somebody, so therefore you start to defend yourself against him and push him away. That's defending. Maybe you want to hit somebody. That is also defending. Defending by hitting. <laughs> yeah? So people might get a bit confused and say, oh, defending is just defending. No, defending by hitting. You attack me, I defend myself. That's why you call it self defense. So I attack you by defending myself. Yeah, so you've got to defend again. Attacking now. Attacking is just attacking. <laughs> no doubt about that. Just attack. <laughs> yeah? Going to attack. Yeah? Counter attack means that the person who knows something, he, counter, he counters you, so you've got to counter him back. If he's scared and don't count you back, you can just attack him. But if you, if you just attack him, and he defends, but he still needs counter-attack. So counter-attack only comes into play when you play with someone at a high level. That's it. <laughs> you play someone at a low level, 
There will never be no counterattacks. Yeah? yeah? That means that if you come again and you punch me and I've gone here, gone here there is no counterattack, is there? But you punch me and you punch again. This, here, punch again. This is all counterattack. Maybe you know something, so therefore we learn counterattack. Yeah? So sometimes when people demonstrate something, uh, good, not bad, not bad, it's okay. Yeah. When people demonstrate something, they're not doing really counterattacks, they're just doing pers demonstrating. So the person puts their arms out there, they do this, do that, do that. They're showing the way what you can do. But in real life situation, it changes. And that's why you see, so you see, counterattack is when you play with someone with a high level or know something. Courage and understanding. Do you understand what you're doing? Have you got the courage to go forward and attack? Have you got courage to go backwards then to go forward and attack? So you also need this. The form where you practice the Siem Tao, Cham Kyu, Mo Yuk Jan, Bat Jam Do, any, all, all the forms, Po, do you understand it? So today we do the form, Siem Tao, Cham Kyu, and give you application of it so you understand what you're doing. Does it mean, and I'll show you one technique one way, that's the only way. And this should give you insight what you can do from the form. So at least you know, when you're doing the form, you're not just doing it and don't know what you're doing, you're doing it with understanding. And therefore, you will learn to apply it later on. So, and the, so courage and understanding is really important. But the bottom line is <laughs> techniques. Techniques like a bullets, like bullets. You've got a gun, but you have no bullets. That means you're not really dangerous because you've got a gun with no bullets in it. <laughs> when I give you the bullets, then you become really dangerous. <laughs> That's the techniques, <laughs> yeah? But do you know how to apply the techniques under pressure? When someone attacks you, yeah? Counter-attack you, sensitivity, yeah? That means that the same again. Sensitivity, we're here by touch. Can he sense me to stop me? <laughs> yeah? He might understand sensitivity, but can he stop me when I hit him? That means if he cannot, he can't sense me. Or maybe he can sense me, but have no techniques to do what he, wants to do, when, what he needs to do afterwards. Yeah? So after a while, you find that all these little things you need to practice. Yeah? For the puzzle. Yeah? So martial art is, and every style has these things. Wrestler have sticky. Because wrestler, what's going to do to you? Grab you and stay close. Yes? A boxer has a gorsa because he's going to wave and hit and everything like that. So you go different ways. A mixed martial part, mixed martial artist, we have everything. Grabbling, boxing, kicking, bit of this, bit of that. So it's a mixture of everything. But martial art is everything. So every style has got everything, but do you know how to apply it? Yeah? There's no style which is better than the others. It's just do you understand what you're practicing sufficient enough and can you use it? That's all. Quite simple. But what one of the techniques what might you have problems with is what? <laughs> the courage. <laughs> the rarity when someone's fighting you now with some energy. What I gave you guys yesterday. <laughs> yeah? This is one thing. Yeah? So demonstration is demonstration. Drills is drills. But fighting is really what? The courage to really go in there with techniques. Yeah? If you go in there with no techniques, You've got good courage, but you are going to get a lot of beatings because you've got courage to go in there, but you have no ammunition with you. Yeah? Like I said, the gun and the bullets. <laughs> so if I give you a gun, you are no threat to me because you have no bullets. But as soon as I give you the bullets, I said, oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> All right, I, I surrender. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? So when, you, so when people do martial arts and practice, they need all these things. And that's for every other style. And not just for Wing Chun. Yeah? But I always state that Wing Chun can fight your long range, middle range, or long range, or close range. That's what really matter. Every style has this. Don't think people say Wing Chun is only for close fighting. No, it's for long fighting. But you've got to approach me and I can sense you coming in. Yes? So if you come again and I'm here and you kick me here, just kick me, and I can't sense it, hey, you kick me, but that is the long range. Then I'm here, close, you punch me here. And I can't sense it. <laughs> yeah. That, that is, then we're here now. Long range. And you drop me on the floor. That is close range. But I can't sense it. And I have no techniques to do nothing at all. Right? Good. So the person becomes 
got more advantage of me to do what he wants to do. Yeah? So today I'm going to show you all different ways how to close, middle range and long range. Yeah? It's already in your forms already, like sticky legs, where you're going to do sticky legs and kicking. We should have a lot of kicking. People might not see kicking because it's quite dangerous, but it is a lot of kicking if you know it. And the kick is in your form, in the CM towel, kicking is in your cham cue, kicking is in your puji, kicking is on the dummy, and kicking is in your knife form. But when people say kicking, they look at kicking as a normal kick. That's kicking. No. Kicking can be from, the concept of kicking is losing your legs. It can be pulling, opening, pushing forward, pressing. These are kicking for me. I don't look at kicking as just a kick. If I say punching, it can be a punch here, it can punch a punch here, it can be a punch here. Yeah? That's also punching, but what punch are you practicing? So you press it on your straight line punch, you're limited. So you'll stop the straight line punch, and you don't have to go angle punching, or turning punching, or hooking punching, therefore you'll be stuck again. So when she has many lines, or attack, and defend. So you have the attack and defend of lines. Does someone coming towards you, defend yourself. Someone coming towards you, go and meet him and attack him. All right, so today, this morning, the second day, we go through all these different techniques, I'll go through the forms, explain to you, what you how you can use it for your own personal self. So when you do the form, you've got an insight what the form can do. Not just going through the form and thinking, oh, yeah, done the form, but I can't apply it. Yeah? And that's what happens with a lot of styles. Yeah? They learn the form and they think they're perfect. But when you start to fight with them, nothing comes out. Don't care if it's a, kick, a, a kicking style, don't care it's wrestling style, don't care what other style it is, nothing comes out because you've been pressurized. Yeah? That's what I do. I pressurize people to see what they can do. <laughs> yeah? That's a reality check. <laughs> All right? So let's start. I will explain the form, the CM towel, and go through some of the texts that you understand. Then we can go through kicking and other bits and pieces, cheer cell, fighting, you know, much as possible today, the second day. But at least you understand and know what you're doing. Yeah? Okay, let's all start. Nice girl.